class. Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so very glad that you are here to review some math with me. Today we have two learning goals. Our first learning goal is to multiply by the number 1 and the next learning goal is to multiply by the number 100. But before we do that, I want us to review multiplying by 10. Let's take a look at this. It says six groups of 10. Well, do you remember what that equals? Six groups of 10. Well, let's put up six fingers. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Six groups of 10 is 60. What about three groups of 10? 10, 20, 30. Or what about eight groups of 10? Can you say it without counting out eight groups of 10? Did you say 80? Well done. Hmm. Do you remember an easier or faster way to write groups of? Show me with your arms. Are you ready? We make an X. Now on the count of three, I want you to show me your groups of arms. One, two, three. Well done. The phrase groups of can be replaced with an X. For instance, six groups of 10 can be written six groups of 10 equals 60. Three groups of 10 can be written this way. Three groups of 10 equals 30. And we can also write eight groups of 10 equals 80. Well, let's think about what this would look like if we were multiplying by one. So with my eraser, I'm gonna change groups of 10 to say groups of one. Hmm. If you had six groups of one, how many would you have? Well, six, of course. If you have six groups and there's just one in each group, hmm, that's six. What if we have three groups of one? It's three. What if we have eight groups of one? It's eight. And we can also write this the other way where we would say, six groups of one equal six. Or three groups of one equals three. Or eight groups of one equal eight. Let's look at this written another way. Well, we have been writing our problems horizontally, and now I would like for us to look at writing them vertically. Hmm. On this question, we say that we have one group of zero. Well, I want you to think about that one. If we have a group of zero, how many do we have? We have zero because we had a group of nothing. If we have one group of one, then our answer is one. If we have one group of two, we have two. If we have one group of three, that's three. One group of four is four. One group of five is five. One group of six is six. And what is one group of seven? Of course, it is seven. Do you know what one group of eight would be? It's eight. Well done. Well, class, we've looked at groups of 10 and groups of one. Now it is time to look at groups of 100. So I'm gonna change this one to a 100. When I changed my one to a 100, I put two zeros on the back to show our tens place and our ones place. All right, six groups of 100. Let's get out those six fingers. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 
All right, three groups of 100. 100, 200? 300. What about eight groups of 100? Can you tell me what it is without even counting them out? Eight groups of 100 is 800. And we still remember that the phrase groups of can be replaced with an X. So we can say eight groups of 100 equals 800. Let's look at these questions written another way. Well, we've written our multiplying by 100 facts horizontally. Now let's look at them vertically. Here we have 100 times 0, or multiplied by 0. And whenever we multiply anything by 0, our answer is going to be 0. Because we're saying we have 100 groups of nothing. And 100 groups of nothing is, well, it's nothing. But about, about 100 groups of 1? Well, that is 100. 100 groups of 2. 200. 100 groups of 3 is 300. Hmm. What about 100 times 4? That is 400. Or 100 times 5? Five. 500. Or 100 times 6? Six. 600. Or 100 times 7? Seven. 700. You'll notice in all of these, we simply take this number, the 5, and we put it in the 100's place and add zeros, not really adding zeros, but we're putting zeros there for the 10's place and the 1's place. Hmm, these sound like they'd be hard because you're multiplying by 100, but they're really easy. And I bet that you will be able to do them speedy fast. Well class, I am so thankful that you came to practice with me today. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.